Well, if you're watching this, you know what day this is. It's a new comic book day. And mail all. And other goodness. <sighs> no, it's just a very stressful day today. Did I do anything? No, I didn't do anything today except for go to three comic book stores. What was stressful is dealing with people. And this is the reason why um here's so here's my stack of the week. This is my stack of the week. And uh I'm not gonna start reading these until I get the my two other stacks done first. So without further ado, let's see what I bought. Bought a new combo box. Pretty neat, Devil's Rain combo book box. This one store I go to had him. I was like, I gotta buy this. Of course, there's some books that, that needs to be cataloged. You know, I what's in the box? You know what? Eh, I'll do a video. On, should I do a video on that of how I do how I do that how how I catalog my books into a box? Would that be interesting? I don't know. But anyway. So let's go with the mail call. Because I only have one thing of mail this week. Which is good. Fantastic Four 2 is 43. Now if you really look at it. It's not to scale. Because Galactus is not that small. He's a little bit bigger than that. But in order to. You know. Mr. Fantastic probably won't be able to. You know. He's like a Redding Wing. He should be like more like a Redding Wing. Or maybe brass knuckles <laughs> to Galactus because that's how big he is but look at it see you see at the bottom you see Captain America and Thor banging at his knee at his shins and ankles Doctor Strange flying around torches hitting his belly button <laughs> I think that's the wasp right there maybe and of course the fan and Iron Man's in the corner right here and of course you know the Fantastic Four all over that Hmm. Where's Invisible Woman? I guess she's invisible. But anyway, I, I love this. I love this. It's like, ah, okay, fine. I thought that was kind of neat. So, without further ado, no, don't you do that. X Force 26, surfing, the surf continues. That's kind of neat. They are coming out the water. I'm gonna drop X Force pretty soon because I don't know. I only collected it because it was like some varying covers and somehow they just got on my list. So I told it, uh, I'm gonna cancel that. New Year, gonna try to trim up some books so I don't, wait, so, I don't so I can save up space and get some stuff done. Uh, Batman and Robin number two, love number one, the story about how Robin became Robin. Another retelling of that story, another retelling of it. I don't know how many times people are gonna go to the well and retell that story, but I guess hey, this one's a little bit good. The Gauntlet is a lot better story. If you want to read a coming of age Robin story, it's called the Gaunt Batman the Gauntlet. It's basically um, Robin's first night ever by himself. The idea was him to go around Gotham City without being spotted by Batman. Ends up getting across with some crime, of course. And he t tries to handle it himself, and he gets a little bit over his head. And of course, Batman saves the day without actually coming in and saving the day. Let's just say it's a really good story from back in the day. Really good story. Graphic now. Look for it. Batman Urban Legends number ten. The reason why I got this is a Tim Drake story. Um, this is supposedly when Tim Drake actually tells Batman what's going on. And according to Batman, from what I heard, he says, good. And that's it. What did you expect? Batman to have some kind of soliloquy or something like that? I'm like, I don't know why people are making a big deal out of it. But people are. But I saw this variant, and I was like, got to get this variant instead. Let's see if I can get, the, get it out the glare. It's pretty cool. 
King Spawn number five. Star Wars The High Republic number 12. Yeah, still loving this story. Still loving it. Before the Empire. Before the Empire. Before the Phantom Menace. Uh, Hulk number two. Miles Morales Spider Man number 33. One of my new favorites, Gun Honey number four. Love that Gun Honey. One of my new, new, new favorites, New Burn number two. Bazuck Girl number six. And a really interesting one The Amazing Spider Man number 81. Miles Morales is facing off with Ben Riley. Now it's kind of hilarious because the last um, Miles Morales story, the Beyond Corporation who owns the owns the property of Spider Man, came to him with a cease and desist, and he's like, "What the hell?" <laughs> so we'll see. I can't wait. To see, I can't wait for this. But that's not it. I got two more things. I usually don't buy a lot of Marvel's Legends, but this new line I had to get. I don't, I mean, I do buy them, but not as much as I used to. Now, this one right here is US Agent. Really good likeness to him. I wish it came with a different head, like a, another head scope with him without the, um, without, you know, with a no helmet on. Wish they had a different head scope too, but oh well. I wish they would have had it like a shield with him as well, but you know, I guess Falcon's, Falcon's wing has to take the most of it. Who knows? And last but not least, Loki. At the moment, but today, I own every single character to build this Falcon with all of his wings. So I got the whole line. The hardest one was to find was the Scarlet Witch, which was, which I'm surprised because I don't see the store when I bought it. There was like three at the store after I came, went to the same store today, none. So anyway, so now I could basically build the Falcon if I really wanted to. I usually keep it mock mint on card so that way if I buy a double then of course yeah. But then again you gotta think about this is 25 bucks a piece and there's what seven let's say what one two three four five six seven so seven times twenty five is what hundred and fifty no Twenty-five times four is a hundred seventy-five. Hundred and seventy-five dollars to build the Falcon. And the funny thing is, I know people who bought multiples of these to put the Falcon together and it's trying to sell them for like eighty bucks. I know. So I mean. It's interesting. Uh, a couple years ago, right before the pandemic, I could have bought the Hulk Buster build a figure. I could have bought the actual Hulk Buster build a figure for like eighty dollars. I'm like, I'll pass on that. Then the pandemic hit. But anyway, that is it for this week. Whew. Yeah, it's been a really tough week on my vacation. So, yes, by Monday I'll be right back to it. I'll be right back working. And yes, I do work from home which is good that because I work from home doesn't mean I don't work and I hate when people assume that when you're going back to work well I'm not getting paid for free I can tell you that but anyway if I was getting paid for free that would be awesome 
Oh, my eyes. But anyway, with that being said, thank you very, very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this video if you like. If you have any, you know, let me know down below if you have any questions or any suggestions or just want to say hi. Let me know down below. And, oh gosh. Hmm. I think it's time for my eye drops again. And well, with that being said, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. And it's Christmas soon. Talk to you later.